The adjacency list is another way to represent adjacent vertices. Why would you want to create an adjacency list? Again, to save time. The adjacency list is much more efficient when trying to figure out the adjacent nodes in a graph. The adjacency list also takes up less space than the adjacency matrix. In the adjacency matrix, each node must contain a value regardless of whether it contains an edge to another node or not. The adjacency list only contains nodes that are connected. Let's look at an example of how someone would create an adjacency list from a directed graph. We'll start by creating six elements in the array to represent the six nodes. Each array element will store a linked list. Going through the graph, vertex 1 is connected to vertex 6. So we update the adjacency list for vertex 1. The loop at the end indicates that there are no additional nodes that vertex 1 points to, so it points to nil. Vertex 2 points to two other vertices, vertex 1 and vertex 5. We update the list to have vertex 2 point to 1 and then to 5. Vertex 3 points to 2 and 5, so we update the list. Vertex 4 points to 6, as is illustrated here. And Vertex 5 points to 1, 3, 4, and 6. Finally, Vertex 6 points to vertices 1, 2, and 5. That can be illustrated right here. By observation, we can quickly see that a significant amount of space is saved by switching to an adjacency list from an adjacency matrix. The time complexity stays roughly the same.